And now let's talk about an expensive problem over in Royal Oak involving a troubled tree whose falling limb caused some serious damage to a parked car. The tree was in distress before the storm brought it down, and now the vehicle's owner wants to know why the city isn't helping cover the cost. Let's bring in our consumer investigator, Hank Winchester. Hank. The city of Royal Oak, it's known for its big, beautiful trees, but one of those trees created a big headache and also financial issues for a local man. Could the same thing happen to you? You can see all the damage in these photos. It's extensive. The car parked here on Knoll Street in Royal Oak had just recently been purchased by Ulysses Wright. The storm was 10, 15 minutes. It blew over. I came out and that's when I realized neighbors were outside actually wondering whose car had a tree on it and I realized it was my car. A fast moving storm packing wild winds brought down part of the tree right on Wright's ride. He took photos of the damage and of the tree itself and you can tell the tree does not appear to be healthy. Wright says he was hoping the city would cover the deductible, but he was wrong. The claim was denied essentially because I, from my nature of it, the the tree wasn't it wasn't brought to their attention that the tree was damaged. After sending in lots of paperwork and estimates, the city ultimately decided to deny the claim. And here's why we were told an investigation is performed on each claim for all of the relevant facts. And generally speaking, the city pays claims if the city appears to be negligent, meaning knows about a dangerous disease tree yet didn't respond in a reasonable time frame. Here's legal expert Neil Rockhine. So you have to show that they actually knew, not that they should have known, but they actually knew and disregarded their knowledge, which is a very, very, very tough burden. In this case, it can't be met. Ulysses Wright was able to work with his insurance company, but was disappointed the city wouldn't budge, especially considering the condition of this tree. The good news in this whole situation is that Mr. Wright's insurance provider was very helpful in this entire situation, working to help get him back on the road. I'm Hank Winchester. Help me, Hank. All right, interesting. So if you've got a troubled tree, you better report it first exactly so that the city's right. aware. So Before you it's don't... too late, yeah.